amigos de TV Agro. Espero se encuentren muy bien. Hello friends of TV Agro. I hope you are very well. My name is Andres Gonzalez, an agronomist by profession. Today we're going to talk about the criteria and how a pineapple hill should be planted. En este caso vamos a hablar sobre la variedad Oromiel. In this case, we're going to talk about the Honey Vergold variety, MD2 Gold by the ICA. This is how this variety is known before the Colombian Agricultural Institute. Eh, un saludo muy especial para, para todos los... A very special greeting to all the farmers in Colombia, especially in this case for the producers of pineapple or honey at the national level. Eh, como les digo, pues, eh... To establish a Honey Gold pineapple crop, we must have different criteria, different characteristics, as we always talk about. Como siempre lo hablamos, Everything starts with the selection of a plot. What should we take into account when choosing a plot to plant pineapple? Escoger un lote para sembrar piña. Un lote sobre todo drenado. A lot that is mostly drained, dry. The pineapple crop is not a very demanding crop in terms of soil. Con que el suelo sea drenado. It's enough that the soil be drained and dry and hopefully leave it mechanized as much as possible. Para establecer For what? To establish a plant on a ridge or on a bed that will allow us not to compete or at ground level with the water table. In some crops we find that these beds or ridges are protected by plastic. It is valid in many areas that they do so. This plastic will prevent weeds from growing. This plastic is conditioned at once with a substrate that can be an organic matter to enrich the ground. But what have we found? You have to be very careful because we could be contaminating our soil. These plastics are usually very difficult to remove from the soil in the post-crop stage. Why? Because it disintegrates easily. We're going to start that it is not grabbing and pulling and that the plastic comes off completely. These plastics begin to disintegrate, which will generate contamination and in subsequent mechanization, we will see that the plastic remains in some parts of our soil. Producers who want to manage their crops with plastic must be very careful. There are many things to take into account. It's positive, but as I told you, you have to take precautions. Normally, the pineapple crop is planted at a distance between 25 and 30 centimeters. 25 between plants and 30 centimeters between rows. Distance can be increased. Eso nos va a dar una, una, un número de plantas. That will give us a number of plants per hectare of 45,000 or 50,000 plants. El, ¿Qué sembramos? What do we plant? Sembramos un colino. In the pineapple crop, we plant a stem. It is an asexual reproduction. This is a pineapple stem, as we can see here, with very good characteristics. Eso es lo que llamamos un colino de primer corte. This is what we call a first cut stem. What does that mean? Which is the first stem after the plant produced its fruit? It is the first stem. It comes with great vigor. We can see this root system that develops perfectly. This thickness here at the root. A good size. A healthy seed. Those are characteristics of a good seed. The health of the crop is very important. In pineapple, we have diseases such as Fusarium and Phytophora. We must be careful not to bring infested smuts. These smuts guarantee the best smuts. A prior classification of these smuts must be made, so as not to generate competition. And if they remember the planting distance that I spoke of, it's very short. We must be very judicious, because if we plant a stem of this size, and we plant one next to it of a smaller size, what does this mean? That these leaves are going to grow. We're going to generate internal competitions. We are not going to set objectives. And when it comes to harvesting our crop, there are going to be some percentages of plants that did not reach harvest because they were left competing or were left to one side for competence. This stem, as I said, the idea is to allow the batch to comply with the quarantine to be able to extract this hill. What is quarantine? Turns out that a ripening agent is often applied to pineapple, a hormone called ethathon. This ripening agent is applied to induce the pineapple. As a colloquial term, it is to impregnate the plant. It is the moment in which you add the hormone so that the plant goes from the vegetative stage to the reproductive stage. At that moment, we see the pineapple flower 45 to 50 days later. And what does this mean? 
¿Qué quiere decir esto? It means that the plant may be passing to this reproductive vegetative stage and we do not know until 45 or 50 days when we see that the flower begins to appear at the bottom. Empieza a asomarse al fondo. Entonces, cuando la piña toca darle, también en las etapas ya finales, color, muchas veces las plantas ya tienen el fruto. Many times the plants already have the fruit, but also next to it is the stem. El colino If care is not taken, the stem can drop this Teflon hormone and the stem can impregnate a young stem, which is not what we want. Because a young plant does not have the characteristics to give a commercially good sized fruit. So after the last painted of the lot, what does the last painted of the lot mean? The moment in which the hormone was handled for the last time in the batch, and if there were presence of stems, it must be given 45 days to 50 days. Para garantizar de que For what? To ensure that the effect has passed and that the plants that accidentally received the hormone will not become pregnant at the time of planting because we have had cases where we plant our crop and see how after planting they begin to become pregnant. Many of these are due to stress. Son por estrés, es cierto. It is true, but others also because they are pregnant from the mother batch. Entonces, después de que... After we obtain the stem, which we have already taken into account, the quarantine, the health, the vigor of the seed. Tratamos de clasificarlo. We try to classify it. We take it to the lot. It is better to treat this stem if possible, but a treatment with what? As I told you, a biofungicide and an insecticide. Repelentes biológicos. We can use biological repellents such as chili pepper extracts, onion layers, a potassium soap. Also treat the stem with a trichoderma, a biological a bulberia, one of these products that will inoculate the soil and it will work very well. We can also apply mycorrhizae. Remember that what the mycorrhizae do is carry out a symbiosis with the root to provide the root to the mycorrhizae and the mycorrhizae facilitate the work of absorption by the roots. After this, we plant our stem. Planting, as I tell you, is to introduce this part, not so deep, and to be well pressed down. There is a special tool that is like a little shovel. At this moment here we can see two planted stems. These stems we can see that it is only to introduce the first few centimeters, about 10 centimeters, and that it remains firmly. Then it will take root and start up its crop. Entonces, tengámoslo muy en cuenta, no hay necesidad de enterrarlo tanto. Let's keep this in mind. There is no need to bury it so much. Just a few centimeters is enough. Pineapple is a crop nutritionally that responds very well. Según los estudios y la práctica... According to studies and practice, it has taught us that pineapple responds very well to foliar fertilization. Que responde mejor que agregar... What does that mean? Which responds better than adding solid compost. Responds very well to drains. Para obtener frutos... To obtain fruits, the production per hectare varies. For example, if we establish a batch of 45,000 plants and we reach harvest with them, the average first class fruit is above 1,500 grams. There are pineapple plants that collect 2 kilogram fruits. There are others at 2.2. The idea is to get a percentage of 90 to 100 tonnes per hectare. It is a good production. Where 70% to 80% is first class, and the other percentage corresponds to second or third, as it is known. After having our crop, we must try to add the necessary nutrients every 20 days in a foliar way. Remember, we must always start with some nutrients, in particular, starting we can use phosphorus very well some nitrogen, potassium, especially focusing on phosphorus very well in minor elements. We rotate in the next fertilization. The idea is to do about 15 to 20 cycles before harvest. Doing 15 to 20 cycles we will guarantee that our crop will obtain a very good productivity, which is a plant that is well nourished. Being well nourished, it will give us a very good quality fruit. The pests. The main pests that are found in the root are the mealybug. There we also have weevil attacks. You have to be very careful because the plant can start to show some yellowing. It could be symphila, the mealybug that is generating here. Even nematodes also attack. I repeat, inoculate the soil very well with biologicals. Pineapples and all crops respond very well to the use of biologicals. 
podemos recuerden preparar Also remember to prepare yourselves from your homes to reduce production costs of sulfur calcium broth or Adelis broth which are very easy tools that will allow you to carry out your crops reducing production costs and more environmentally friendly management amigables con el medio ambiente eh la idea no es que estén comprando The idea is not that they are constantly buying products and that it becomes a recipe since you can prepare a lot also remember the issue of bio preparations está el super magro el té estiércol there is super lean manure tea we enrich it obviously with mineral salts depending on what we need in stages that we need phosphorus in another stage we will need nitrogen and in final stages potassium señores por favor disminuir In the final stages, the recommendation is to please reduce the application of nitrogen. The varieties in the area. Here we are talking about honey gold pineapple. Pero también hay una piña muy But there is also a very important pineapple in the area that is the mayonesa. It is a more rustic pineapple, less demanding, and on the other hand, there is the perolera pineapple. Pero pues la la piña, digámoslo But the pineapple that preserves the finest characteristics and for export at the moment is the honey gold pineapple. Eh invitarlos a hacer buenos manejos. I want to invite you to do good management to establish crops of golden honey pineapple with very good quality. Remember the health of the seed. Si quieren certificar sus lotes. If you want to certify your batches or purchase certified seeds, remember my name is Andres Gonzalez, an agronomist by profession, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as Andres Gonzalez Neva. For more information, my contact number is 322-891-8334. We have WhatsApp on this line. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you in the next section. Una próxima sección.